Two Cherry Point Marines are facing the consequences for their possible roles in vandalizing a helicopter at the Havelock Taurus and Event Center. William West and Andrew Karanaza have been charged with injury to real property and disorderly conduct. The crime happened over the weekend, but those that work at the center are still picking up the pieces days later. On your side, Cheyenne Pagan joins us now live in front of this aircraft with more. Cheyenne. This aircraft behind me has a long history and the aviation curator for the city tells me that the damage to it is pretty bad. Take a look at these photos. They show one of the suspects climbing onto one of the aircrafts for a quick picture. Then they approach another and try to spin the helicopter blades, breaking multiple windows in the process. It's a shame that somebody would do this. Its damage aviation curator for the city of Havelock, Richard Hazlett, didn't expect to see when he came into work the next morning. As soon as I pulled up next to my parking spot, I noticed the hole in the side of the airplane where, where a window should be. He showed me the inside of the helicopter where broken glass still remains days later. Pieces here, here. He gets emotional when talking about it because of what an aircraft like this one symbolizes for the area. This particular airplane means a lot to East, excuse me, Eastern North Carolina because of all the lives over the years that they've rescued or gotten out of the hurricane situations. The search for those involved was extensive. Tuesday morning, Havelock Police Department shared a photo of the two at a local Waffle House dining and dashing in the same night. And just a few hours after posting that, police named the suspects as William West and Andrew Carranza. Police say the estimated cost of the damage to the aircraft is around $1,000. As for Richard, he says it's going to be tough and expensive to find the parts to repair the 50-year-old helicopter. But that's not going to stop him. It's just part of our heritage, not only in the Marine Corps, but here at Cherry Point. Both West and Carnaza turned themselves in this morning and have since been released. Their first day in court will be on September 1st. Live in Havelock, Cheyenne Pagan 9 on your side.